So for today, we're going to be doing the first Ascent armor set review video. Finally got all of the armor. Well, to be fair, I got the armor like within the first week-ish kind of deal. Consider I got it, I think on Sunday. And it's not hard to get, especially for the other classes that you don't complete it on because you don't have to complete it on other classes, which is really good. I'll explain more in a bit. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And pretty much if you guys have seen a review video from me, then you guys will know how it goes. But... For the newer people, we're basically going to be looking at how the armor looks for the male and female versions of the Guardian and how it is shaders. Usually for the shaders, it's shaders that are easily acquirable. So most of the time it's raid armor or raid shaders, I should say. And a lot of the raids are still in the game. I think the only shader that is unobtainable sometimes is Abyssinian Gold. But that one I'm going to be switching out for the new uh, shader from this raid, which is really exciting i still haven't completed it because of work but hopefully tomorrow i get my first completion so i can get that shader and we can start using that shader in as well because i'm going to be replacing that for abyssinian either way let me know what you guys think about the armor in the comments below definitely want to talk about it because i do think the armor is really cool definitely not perfect but i do like a lot of the pieces so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point remember to like hit hit the bell notification it all does really help because a huge portion of people come to my channel and do not subscribe so the least you can do is at least like the video comment tell your friends about it because you might never know and other than that let's get into it so to start off here is the armor set now let's talk about how to get it so complete micah 10's missions essentially once you unlock uh, the armor for one character it automatically completes it for all of the other classes so all you have to do is complete it on one guardian and if you have other guardians the armor will be automatically unlocked for everyone which i think is really cool and i hope they do this going forward because honestly the fun part is unlocking the armor the one time after that it becomes a chore and i think this is way better because it just takes the whole chore away from me and makes me want to just get into the armor and start mixing and matching it because that's literally my whole channel <laughs> so yeah just complete micah 10's uh searching for ghost stuff yeah i definitely like this armor hunters let's talk about it i think the cloak is the best piece from this whole set like bar none dog and that's specifically because of just how unique it is i love the like the neck guard i love that a lot the only thing that's really annoying is that it shaders annoyingly uh the hood takes shaders differently than the actual neck guard but we'll look at shaders in a bit i think the helmet is really cool as well i just don't like that the like lenses each of the lenses don't change color and they have different colors that's really annoying i think the arms are cool that being said i don't like the shoulder pads i think the shoulder pads are a little bit weird that being said i don't mind like it doesn't kill it for me but i just find it annoying chest piece i think is the weakest portion and i think the boobs are really really cool granted that like little like cloth at the knees just makes me laugh because it's just like why like why but other than that i think it's re it's really cool so i definitely think this armor set is a dub as for how it shaders honestly i, I was expecting it to shader a lot worse i think it shaders pretty decently like i said you guys will notice uh from the cloak that the cloak is taking a different color than the neck guard and then the actual like cloak the the back of it is taking the neck guard so the the hood is the main thing that is annoying granted i don't know if putting a helmet on that takes off the hood takes the whole hood and the neck guard or just the hood if it's just the hood then i think this is a dub if it takes the neck guard as well that's gonna be a bummer but i really like this set i don't see anything from shadering that i'm like really annoyed about which is so nice to see honestly but yeah let me know what you guys think about the hunters as for the titans i'm gonna be honest it's wild just how different the two uh genders feel for this one so titans for males it just looks so big and then for females it just seems so small which granted it makes sense F females have a like very small uh silhouette silhouette compared to the males but it's just so drastic in this armor set so the dubs for me i love the helmet the helmet is amazing i definitely will be using this helmet a lot i think the arms you can definitely use them for like a night look because the back like the, sh the elbow guards very much give me like uh like a european night vibe 
the chest piece i think is the weakest portion i think the boots are interesting uh the mark i don't really care for if i'm being quite honest it doesn't look bad i just don't care for it if that makes any sense um uh, yeah i don't really care for it too much as armor goes i think this is the second best because the warlock i think if i'm going by memory i'm not too short we'll talk about it when we look at the warlock but let's look at the shadering real quick shadering again i don't think is a big problem the only thing that i find annoying is the chest piece uh is split in the middle so one side is one color one side is the other that's really annoying same thing for the gauntlets if i'm looking at this correctly let me see real quick not gauntlets but the shoulder pads yeah so i'm not the biggest fan of how this shaders considering the chest piece uh the left side is the off color and then for the arms the right side is the off color specifically the shoulder pads so that's kind of annoying but the boots look like they're taking shaders beautifully helmet as well so it's mostly just the the boots or the chest piece and the arms that are taking the off colors which is very annoying for the mark it's taking the off color for cloth if, at least i'm assuming actually let me look at abyssinian gold real quick uh yeah it's taking the off color for that whole thing so do yeah use that information with how you're gonna do it because I, I find that kind of annoying but at the same time i really don't care considering i probably will never use this mark maybe so i just i don't i don't know what it is i'm just not a fan of it let me know what you guys think and then last but not least warlocks yours is interesting it's not bad i don't think it's bad yet let's let's look at it so helmet i think is very unique not necessarily great it is unique though and it's way better than most helmets that you guys get because most hel helmet that you guys get is literally like a small helmet with like a hole in the middle that's usually a, a warlock helmet so this is much more unique and i praise that um you know what i i want to say the helmet's dope like i really want to say that i think it's just like the hoop in the back is what kind of like just porque like por cor por why like why but I also don't mind it as much as I think I think I mind it, if that makes any sense. Like, it's so, it's so hard to explain. Like, I fuck with this helmet. I like it. I will use it and I will enjoy it. But there's other things they could have done instead of the hoop, like the ring. I think maybe like, like ear horns would have been better or nothing because I think that would have been better too. So helmet's fucking cool, I guess. Uh, chest piece I think is really cool there's so much going on and I will definitely be utilizing this with like a tactical look because it's gonna look cool with it the only problem is using tactical boots because quite frankly you guys pretty much don't have a lot aside from one exotic uh, arms unfortunately are asymmetrical which makes sense the chest piece is asymmetrical the arms are definitely gonna be asymmetrical that being said I would have preferred if the armor was on the left side instead of the right side because the left side has more possibilities i guess you would say but i don't mind it considering i'll just look i'll just have to find something to make it look cool and then the bond is essentially just like a knight shield which doesn't look bad i just kind of kind of question like warlocks is warlocks the one that got that like titans i think would have been way better for that granted it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been a bond but it would have been like on the left side of the chest piece that would have been way better and then warlocks could have gotten something a little bit more better than that maybe maybe the the ring from the helmet could have bought, gone in the i don't know just shooting the shit out right now but i don't mind this armor as much as i thought i will say i think i think the warlocks are in second place for me hunters for sure are the first one titans it's not that your set is bad it's just that it shaders bad for two pieces and the other pieces are like helmet genuinely is super dope for the titans i really love the helmet boots are interesting and i'm definitely excited to use them but it's the chest piece and the mark and the arms that i'm just kind of like i don't really care for it so warlocks definitely went out uh over the titans but let's look at shaders real quick before i start saying that so shadering does not look bad at all actually it looks pretty decent um definitely pieces that i'm like noticing i'm like okay i i fuck with these colors there is no off colors that i'm noticing which is also a big dub specifically for armor plating for cloth i think it's the cloth on the left side is taking off colors which is fine considering there's so much main color that m some off color is not gonna bother me too much so i i think this is super dope i definitely think i will be using the chest piece a lot but let me know what you guys are gonna be using for all of the classes i am really happy that they ended up doing unlocking armor the way they did because again most of the fun is unlocking the armor set the one time after that it becomes kind of a chore 
and i really appreciate that bungie was just like just let's just give it to them after they unlock it because net like in my head when i unlocked the armor i was like fuck like i really don't want to unlock all this armor this way for all of the classes and then when i got the armor set i was like oh shit it gave it to me for everyone immediately made my mood better immediately was like excited to use the pieces because now i'm like oh shit like now i have it all now i can start really having fun with it and yeah bungie if you're gonna do this do it for all everything like this is such a great way to do it i didn't mind the missions i thought the missions were fine completely uh, serviceable it's the fact that you let me unlock everything after just unlocking it in one that really makes me want to praise you guys a lot. And I am. You guys did a really great job with that. I mean, the expansion alone is really good. So I'm really happy with what we have now. But let me know what you guys think. I will be working on the, well, the shader video will be coming out after this video, usually after an hour or so. But I will be working on the class specific video soon. It's just that I want to make the review videos first. So that way you guys see the reviews first. And then I'll start trickling in the uh class specific videos because then either way i don't know how i'm gonna do it because again i don't have a schedule right now i'm gonna be right that after i'm done with this video so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later